Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to get R1C1 cell references very easily and quickly from formulas that are in A1 style cell references. So basically how to go from cell A1 to cell A3. And you'll notice right here you got C1 to C10, but down here R1C3 to R10C3. Um, now if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial and you can download it there. Uh, now let's go ahead and begin. This is a VBA tutorial and uh, because obviously when you're doing cell references in the spreadsheet you can use A1 style but if you're using the dot formula array property or function in a macro then for um, large formulas you need to use the R1C1 method such as this and um, changing a large formula by hand can be a real pain and you can be really prone to errors. So what you need to do is this. It's a really quick, easy way to um, do this. So I'm going to highlight this formula. I have this just uh, selected as text, but anyway. So I'm going to copy this, go to a cell that's formatted regularly. Now what you want to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner and click this it's going to start recording a macro then you'll see this little box pop up just click OK doesn't really matter you know you're recording when there's a little stop sign right there so all you have to do double click a cell paste that formula in then hit control shift enter to enter the array formula because remember for this particular instance what I'm doing is I'm creating an R1C1 uh, formula for an array so now once I've entered the formula as an array hit the stop button now hit alt F11 on the keyboard go down here and open up the newly created module and you will see the exact same formula with R1C1 style reference so I'm going to copy that hit alt F11 to go back to the spreadsheet go down here paste this in, control shift enter, oh, doesn't really like this. Um, so the uh, regular Excel here doesn't really like my R1C1 style cell references so I'm gonna go ahead and set this as a text cell just so we can make sure we got the right thing. Now once you're done you have the R1C1 style references and um, there's one thing to be careful of though when you're using the macro recorder and you've got absolute and relative cell references in the original formula such as this one it's not always going to come in exactly like you'd like it right so notice B10 right well the B is absolute the 10 is relative so down here it says 4 and you have to make sure that this reference is the correct reference so you still have to double check your formulas but it is a very uh, easy and quick way to get R1C1 style references um, that you need to use to enter the dot formula arrays with macros. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there. And that's it for this tutorial.